What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today there was some leaked video footage of what was supposed to be Call of Duty 2020 or what a lot of people are calling Call of Duty Cold War. Now this was all taken down very quickly by Activision. Uh, of course they did state if anybody posts this information or posts this video that they will go after them with a lawsuit of a copyright strike. So they're taking it pretty seriously which makes you kind of think this could definitely be legitimate. All the reports so far seem to be that this is legitimate footage, so it does not seem to be fake or false or anything like that. But of course, this information that I'm about to give you came from this video, so always, as always, take this with a grain of salt until we actually get an official confirmation from Treyarch. But from what I have seen and read about this video being released, it does seem to be very legitimate. This video was, of course, just kind of some early alpha footage or early pre-alpha footage of the gameplay in Call of Duty 2020, and it does look like it's going to be cold, a Cold War setting. Now, the Cold War in kind of history's mind or most people's mind is 1947 to 1991. I would say this map looks like it was set in the 80s and early 90s, so kind of middle to the end of the Cold War, maybe. Uh, it was a warehouse or either a, a place that you know makes like military vehicles, tanks, trucks, that kind of thing. And it had a lot of older kind of retro style electronics around around the map. So it looks like something 70s, 80s, you know, style. The other thing that was kind of interesting was while they were playing, the gameplay was with an AK-5, which is a weapon, of course, that was kind of, you know, talked about or introduced in the late uh, 1980s, early 1990s, kind of towards the end of the Cold War as well. Um... The one thing about gameplay uh, that you really could tell, uh, or a couple things you really could tell about gameplay, you could see that it was on the engine that Modern Warfare is running on, which is no surprise because Activision did state they wanted all Call of Duty games going forward to run on the same engine that Modern Warfare is. But some other things that you could notice about gameplay is you definitely could tell it was a Treyarch game. The movement and the brightness of the map uh, of the map in general. You, you guys all know how bright and everything kind of stands out in Treyarch games, which is one thing a lot of people like about their games. And the movement did look a little bit different as well. Treyarch's movement and Treyarch's maps always stand out from other Call of Duty titles, in my opinion. But besides that, we really didn't get any information, you know, with other specializations or is there a mini-map kind of like the old Call of Duty games. You know, a lot of people don't like the mini-map that is in Modern Warfare. And I kind of have to agree it is a lot different. It was something that took a long time to get used to. A lot of people want that old-style mini-map back in the game. We really didn't get any of that kind of info from this video. It was mainly just like a minute and 45, a minute and 50 seconds of some quick gameplay. But from everything I could see and everything I have read, kind of reports about this, it does seem to be a Cold War style game. Hopefully Treyarch will give us some information in the upcoming weeks. I'm assuming within the next couple of weeks to the 1st of July, we will probably get some type of trailer or some type of announcement from Treyarch talking about the next Call of Duty installment, which is looking like and shaping up to be right now uh, Call of Duty a Black Ops Cold War. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've seen the video yourself. Uh, let me know what you think about a Cold War style Black Ops game. Do you kind of like what you have heard? The kind of the things I described that was uh, kind of I saw in this video myself. And if you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you hit the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.